Protestant historians to this day believe it was Moore who orchestrated Tyndale's betrayal and execution. But in the end, Tyndale's final prayer would overcome his opponents. Before he died, he famously cried out, Lord, open the King of England's eyes! The sadness of all this story is that six months after the death of William Tyndale, the king ordered Miles Coverdale to translate the Bible in English. And therefore he used the Bible, the translation that William Tyndale had made. To this day, men believe that God answered the prayer of Tyndale. Not only would King Henry authorize the translation of an English Bible for the first time in history, but Tyndale's work as a translator would go on to influence nearly every English Bible that would follow. Tyndale has a very large impact that's still with us today. I think the most uh, obvious quotation is, let there be light, which is often used. Um, the one that I like best is the powers that be, which of course occurred in a quite different context. Um, Tyndale's is the first widely disseminated translation of the Bible into English. William Tyndale, in his 1526 New Testament, was the one who laid the foundation for the English language as we, as we know it today. Tyndale's giving English to the English, if you like, um, and he's pr it, because his Bible is printed and it's been widely disseminated. It's helping the language to develop. And the Bible became the most read book because previously uh, it was uh, anathema. You couldn't read it. The common man couldn't read it. So it helped people to learn to read. While previous Bibles were very large and kept in churches, the idea of Tyndale's Bible was to make it smaller in size so that a person could carry it with them wherever they went. Because most of Tyndale's Bibles were destroyed by the Inquisition, only a few copies remain. One of them is at the British Library in London. Our copy is um, a very pretty book. It's also a very important book in terms of it, its, its language because although it was printed in 1526, it's so familiar to us still today because it survives in the language of later copies of the Bible, notably the King James Bible of 1611, with which it's usually exhibited in our treasures gallery here, to actually, so that people can draw a comparison between the language of the two versions that are nearly a hundred years apart in printing. <laughs> 